We are concerned that people are dismissing Omicron as mild. Even if Omicron does cause less severe disease, the sheer number of cases will once again overwhelm health systems. We need to do two things. To prevent severe disease and death through vaccination, which is why the booster program that was just discussed is so important. Secondly, we really must do everything we can to reduce spread and to lessen the size of the surge by reducing our contacts and doing everything we can to stop transmission of this virus. And that does mean wearing face masks, maintaining physical distance, keeping windows open and ventilating, and at the same time practicing superb hygiene, including cleaning surfaces and coughing into our elbows. It is vital. This is a very serious situation indeed. The rise that you're seeing in the UK today is just the beginning of an extraordinary acceleration. There are two epidemics going on, Delta and Omicron, and it is an emergency situation for the British Health Service. It will get extremely serious within the next two weeks, perhaps quicker. I do hope that everybody who was watching that press conference realised just how serious the situation is. It's serious in the UK, it's serious in Europe, and it's serious for the world. Well, thank you for that. I mean, we do have, though, high levels of vaccination here. Um, the booster programme is uh, progressing. 45% of adults uh, now have received those booster programmes and uh, uh, booster jabs. But, you know, what is not clear is the proportion of cases that will end up in hospital, uh, David. Do you know anything yeah. more about, no. about that? Or is it we have to wait until we get further evidence? Thank you, Mark. We are going to have to wait. It's not helpful for people in my position to try to make precise predictions. But I've been watching this pandemic and working on it since January 2020. And I have never been more concerned than I am tonight, not just about the UK, but about the world. Even if Omicron is several times less unpleasant than Delta. I want to stress the absolute number of people who are going to get infected, some of whom will be people who've had double vaccination. This absolute number is going to lead to an already massively stressed health system and health workforce being further overloaded. And so it really is important that every single human being does everything they can to protect health services by minimising social contact and by doing everything possible to prevent transmission of this virus. But so that, that suggests then that you're supporting or calling for, you know, social gatherings to be very limited. It's coming up to Christmas. Um, I mean, what are you saying here, that we're in the same situation that we were last Christmas? Because, of course, we do have the, the vaccines now. But you're yes. saying that, that limiting social contact is as important as last year? I just cannot tell you, Mark, how serious the situation is going to be. I have no way of predicting just how many people are going to get Omicron in the next three weeks, nor can I predict whether or not they will become severely ill. We don't have the information. Nobody has it. And so any prediction is just really me expressing my hopes to you. But what I can tell you is that we have enough information in the World Health Organization to indicate very clearly that this spreads super fast with a doubling time of numbers of cases every two to three days. Uh, do you know what that means? 
that means that it will be eight times more serious in one week, 40 times more serious in two weeks, 300 or 400 times more serious in three weeks, over a thousand times more serious in four weeks. What I'm trying to stress is that this will accelerate super fast. If we are lucky, then we won't have high death rates, but we will still get very heavy load on health services and therefore on hospitals. And a lot of our friends and relatives are going to get ill. It makes sense to do everything we can to minimise contact to what is absolutely essential. Now, so emotional connections are essential, and I don't want anybody to think I'm trying to stop that. But I am saying only do what is vital. So, so you're basically saying that uh, social activities over Christmas have to be limited and we're in a very similar situation to, to last year. I mean, there are MPs here who stood up in the House of Commons yesterday and said that the government here was scaremongering and scientists here were scaremongering. Of course. Yes, I, I want to talk directly to the people who accuse us of scaremongering. Uh, I've spent... 45 years doing this kind of work. And my whole approach is to do everything possible to enable life to go on, to enable fun to go on, to enable love to go on. I want people to live their lives to the full. I would only be making remarks about how serious this is if I had a very good reason to do so. I am concerned. This is serious. I don't like comparing it to last year. For me, this is unprecedented. I don't know how serious it's going to be, but I really do appeal to everybody. Uh, please take what I say seriously. I'm not speaking with any political message. I'm not speaking with any ideological message. I'm just speaking as a public health doctor who is looking at the signs, listening to the experts, and I think we have a pretty serious problem just uh, coming up in, in the coming weeks. And it's not just in the UK, it's in many other countries.